Hello everyone, this is 3.0 Java language. For this video, we will learn about 3.1 introduction to Java. At the end of this video, you should be able to first explain the object oriented programming, second, use output and input statements including output string, and the last one, construct a simple program. Okay, let's see the content of the video. Let's see about the introduction to object-oriented programming first. Java is an object-oriented programming language. What is OOP? OOP is a programming technique that uses object to design the program. There are four characteristics of OOP. The first one is abstraction. Second, encapsulation. Third, inheritance. And the last one is polymorphism. We will look at the characteristics in the next slides. First, abstraction. What is abstraction? Abstraction is a process of hiding the implementation details and showing only functionality to the user. Abstraction lets you to focus on what the object does instead of how it does it. For an example, sending SMS where you type the text and send the message to other people, but you don't know the internal processing about the message delivery. Next, encapsulation. It is a process of wrapping code and data together into a single unit. Third, inheritance. It is a mechanism in which one object acquires all the properties and behavior of a parent object. It is the ability to create a new class from an existing class. We have parent class. We have children class. Polymorphism. It is a concept by which we can perform a single action in different ways. A single statement is used to call various methods and the exact method to be called is only known during the runtime. That's all the four characteristics of OOP. Let's proceed to the next subtopic. Okay, what is class? A class is a code that defines the behavior of a Java programming element called an object. It is a description of the properties and the behavior of one or more object. Image below shows you a coding that includes a class. For this example, the class name is number. Okay. What is an object? Object is an instance of a class. An object is an entity that has both state and behavior. The state of an object consists of any data that the object might be keeping track of. The behavior consists of actions that the object can perform. Okay. Next. You should know the components of a Java program. Basically, a Java file consists of four main components. The first one is command. Second is class declaration. Third, method main or main method. And the last one is a body of method main. Okay, let's look uh, for each component. Comment. What is a comment? Comment is a part of a program that contains information about the program. What it can be used? It can be used to explain Java code such as describe the purpose of a program. Second, make it more readable, easier for other programmers to understand what you are going to do. And the last one, prevent execution when testing alternative code. Comments are completely ignored by the compiler during compilation and have no effect on program execution. There are two ways to write a comment in Java program. The first one, we call it as single line comments. We use double slash symbol to write the comment. And the second one is multiple line comments. And uh, as you can see below, it uses symbol slash followed by star for the beginning and it ends with star slash. Okay, here are the two ways to write a comment. Okay, the coding below shows you how to 
uh, write the comment. Okay, for the first and second line, we use the multiple line comments. And for the this one, we use a single line comment. Let's move to the next component of Java program, which is class declaration. All Java programs are made up of one or more classes. In Java, every line of code that runs in Java must be inside a class. The name of the Java file must match the class name. A class name should always start with an uppercase letter. Okay, as you can see, there are some examples of a class name. Next, main method or method main. Each and every Java program starts execution from the main method. The main method must be defined in a class. The last component, body of method main. Body of the method main enclosed with braces, which we normally or basically we call it as open curly braces and close curly braces which it represents a set of executable statements which may include creating object, declaring variables, input statements, processing statement, and the last one is output statement. Let's see each of the uh, content in the body of method main. Okay, the first one is creating object. In Java, an object is used to perform some operations such as to enable user to enter data into a computer or to call a method that performs some specific task. The two most popular objects used are first, object from class scanner to accept input data entered by the user. Second, Object from class created by the programmer to call a user-defined method. Next, declaring variables. What is a variable? A variable is a location in computer memory used to store data. It can be used to store input data entered by the user and store a single value from an evaluated expression. All variables must be declared before use. This is the example of variable. We have variable name i and its value is 0. We have number and we have result. Okay. To declare a variable, we must have a data type followed by all the variable we use. Okay. Next, input statement. Input statement is used to accept data entered by the user into the computer. In algorithm, the keywords are input or read or get. Using a scanned object to input data from the standard input system in, which accept input from the keyboard. Okay, this is the example of input statement. Okay, we have import Java into the scanner. Scan OBJ, new scanner system in, mark OBJ next double. Okay, this one is the input statement, which we use the variable name mark. Okay. Next, processing statement. In algorithm, the process part is represented by the formula or a condition. In Java, it is recognized as processing statement. A processing statement is used to manipulate inputs to produce the output. It involves the use of arithmetic operators, relation operators, or logical operators. Output statement. Output statement is used to display output on the screen. In algorithm, the keyword output or display or print represent the output. In Java program, the code system the audio print is used to display output to the screen. Okay. Okay. Identify each statement. Okay. We have an example of of coding. 
Okay. Class H. Okay. We call it we call it as class declaration. Next, public static void main string arguments. This is the method main. Okay. And starting from the open curly braces under the public static and close curly braces before the end class. This is the body of method main. Okay, this is the body of method main. Okay, scan as you know, scan a system in. This is the creating object. INTH here, this is the declaring the variables. H as seen next INT, this is the input statement. Year 2020 minus H, this is processing statement. And both system output here, uh, this is the output statement. Okay. This is the example of program using primitive data type, operators and expression. For example, one, we write the import Java user scanner at the top of the program. Okay, followed by the class declaration. And for example two, we write the Java user scanner inside the method main. Okay, so we can use two ways of writing a uh, import java okay so that's all for uh, this time okay hopefully you can understand and you, if you have any problem you can ask your tutorial lecturer thank you bye bye